Alrighty, here again, that's a size 4 hook, even though I got a size 2 wing. Helps it ride a little better. This is an EMT Albiol Stonefly. We get some big ones up here. Stonefly actually beat the mosquito out where I'm at here, 87 miles north of Anchorage, beginning of the year. I don't know, but I think they went her over because the streams and ponds and everything still froze. When it hits about 35, 35 degrees, they're flying around. I've never heard of them, seen or read anything about them wintering over, but I don't see where they're coming from. Everyone knows they laid eggs in the water. Anyway, we're going to get back to that again. As you saw on that last one, caddis, you can tie your feather in before or after. We're going to go this way. Because we're going to go up the way that uh, gentleman invented his vice shows in his video. I'm getting ready to start carrying this here. Vice and the tools. This is a caramel. Perfect color for stonefly. It's got the pearlescent UVA mix into it. Here again, just like that last one, I cut it up because the fibers, even though they're extra thin in this blend I make up, they're about an inch long. And go back the way old Luke, Luke the Dude showed me years ago back there in White River in Arkansas. Had to get the dub and hold. What that was was vinyl head cement. You can get it at some fly shops. Now, some people might say it might stink and smell and just won't get it. And on it. One, number two, it's been used for years. Number three, even the stuff that they say is unsanitary, as I told you before. Well, you tie a fly with that stuff, you take it and hold it up to your dog, and let that dog smell it. If you've heard that one out there, a little husky mix, you smell a on your breath. Just hair. Hair again is just some adaptation of a hair wing caddis. Been tied for generations. Just gonna use my empty wing. Don't fly. And let's see, I'm not wrong over here. In a town, just bought the last of this material in the world. Was hoping one day to go on air with hairline. But the tan hasn't arrived yet. This is what I died. I might be able to get a good supply of the white yet. Or I could get out to all you shops. Just don't pick. Alright, it's a regular elk wing. You can kind of force that hair through there. That hackling hair again, most of them. What you said. Brown hackling don't much better on it. Uh, grizzly. You could infect it that way. I'm just gonna snip some of that off there. Help it to ride a little bit low in profile. Because this is a real fine material. And I'm gonna slide up this a little bit there. Since I use a little smaller hook. Yeah, I think I kind of crinkled 
Too much caffeine today. old stone fly you probably don't even have to put kink in it I guess is the first one I tied up with this since it just found the supply of the other I quit making it I dyed this up file there. Anyway, there you go. You can adapt your patterns with the wing, or you can not use it, or however. I just put these up here because there's a lot of young tires there starting out. Give them an idea of some things. If you want to run your elk hair in there for your caddis or some other kind of deer hair or whatever for a stone fly. Young fellas, you got the idea of how it's done. You just tie that up and then you just substitute your hair there instead of the wing. Or they got cut wings out, made out of what looks to be like Tyvek and some other materials. It's a basic pattern. Same as the caddis, have fun tying and fishing. Bye.